Let's, uh, in this example, examine determining the relationship between the moment in a beam and the curvature of the beam. So this is trying to develop the counterpart relationship that we had to in torsion, which said that the torque was related to the twist rate by multiplying the twist rate by gg, gj rather, or that the internal force in an axial loaded bar was equal to the strain times ae. So I'd like to get the relationship between the moment is equal to something times the curvature of the beam. And so that's what we'd like to determine what goes in here. And the procedure is relatively similar to what we did in the torsion case. So I'll look at the general relationship for the moment. The general relationship for the moment is that you integrate the bending stress times minus y over the cross-sectional area. And in the elastic case, which is what we're looking at, uh, the bending stress is equal to E epsilon. Now, I also know from our kinematic assumption what epsilon is. So the kinematic assumption tells me that epsilon is equal to minus y kappa. So if I plug that in, I'll get y squared E kappa, the, the minus signs drop out, integrated over the area. And E and kappa are assumed constant on the cross-section, so we'll assume a homogeneous material. And if I do that, I can pull the E and the kappa out, and I end up with the integral of y squared dA times E times kappa. And this integral of y squared dA we're going to denote by the symbol I, and it's known as the moment of inertia of the cross-section, or the second moment of the area. And that then gives us a final relationship that says that the moment is equal to EI times kappa. So that's the counterpart to T is equal to GJ phi prime, or R is equal to AE epsilon. It serves the same place in the theory of the bending of beams as those other relationships did in torsion and axial loads. A um, couple of common values for I are useful to sort of have memorized. If you have a rectangular cross-section, which is very common, I is equal to BH cubed over 12. So that's just doing the integral of y squared over the cross-section. Uh, if you have a circle, radius r, so a round bar, it's pi r4 over 4. Or if you have a triangular uh, cross-section with height h base width b, it's i is equal to bh cubed over 36. So these are common values, and other common values can be looked up in tables or books, or you can go ahead and calculate them by explicitly computing the integral of y squared over the area of the cross-section.